During this volatility, we've been recommending a scaled back version, the 25K, 50K portfolio. It's up 2K today. You see plus 885 on Cobra crude oil, plus 475 on Esser Counter Trend 3 crude oil, and plus 775 on Esser Counter Trend 2 e mini S&P. So we recommend this portfolio as well as the SR counter trends. There's so much mean reversion in this market. I want to show you the portfolio calculator updated through yesterday. I'm uploading it to the website after today. The stock index portfolios have really struggled, and we're modifying those. The tick-based strategies and momentum-based strategies are, are a real challenge in this market. There is so much mean reversion, and all the counter trend strategies are doing well, and the trend strategies are struggling. So... The 25K portfolio takes advantage of a lot of counter trend strategies. It is up 9K on the month through the end of yesterday and another 2K today. And so this is the results through March the 19th. It's 10 strategies. You need about 40K to trade this. It's near. It's at an equity peak after today. Yesterday it was in a $375 drawdown. After making 2K today, it is at an equity peak. So far, intraday with a couple hours left to trade. The other portfolio that we recommend is the Esser Counter Trend 234. We added this last week and have been talking about it. It's at equi equity peaks. Actually, added I think two weeks ago. And so you have Esser Counter Trend 234, and you see very consistent on the year during during the bull market and during this bear market. It's very consistent, wide range of markets. Very, so much mean reversion in this market right now. And this too is at equity peaks. It has a worst case drawdown of 28k, almost 30k. And you need about 125k to trade it. Because you're trading 40 different strategies, you're trading the uh, minis with the uh, you know gold and silver and crude oil and soybeans, and you could trade the micros on this. You could trade the micros and just trade the just trade the stock indexes if you want. Those have good results as well. And that is that is what I want to share with you today. Let's go over the rest of the trades. And from the all strategy access five, there are no trades today. You see silver. Did really well this week on SR Counter Trend Gold. Had some winning trades, but no trades today in this workspace setup. Let's look at uh, really, really nice trades in this workspace. You have SR Counter Trend 3, uh, A and B, both profiting 475, and then Cobra Crude plus 885 conservative plus 2005 on the aggressive version. And Cobra Gold plus 575. So we got a trend strategy working in gold right there in this setup. All strategy access three. The euro is lost on the short and the long side. Both stopped out. And you have no trades over on these two setups. Asia Gold 4 got short. Lost on that trade. And then Esser Counter Trend Gold 2. This is what I'm talking about. The Esser Counter Trend strategies. Plus 475. Esser Counter Trend Crude Oil. Plus 475. And then SR Counter Trend 4 One Minute Gold plus 485. SR Counter Trend 4 RBOB plus 571. Pretty illiquid instrument. Um, and then we go back to the stock index portfolio. And you see um, this workspace doesn't have a lot of trades today. It took count trend in Q. I took these long trades on the way down. There was a bullish sense as the market came down. Tried to fill that gap in rally and tried to buy the pullback. And hit the profit target on some, stopped out on some, minus 130 on the day for that setup. And then you come over here to tick count the AT20 in Q, uh, minus 725. It's just hard to short the open no matter what. It just keeps, in this bear market, you take a look at this. This is one of the strategies we're going to rework. Um, it just, there's the momentum. There's no momentum at, after the open. If it goes down at the open, Every now and then you get a big winner, but not in this bear market, not at all. They just bounce it right back no matter what. And so it's very hard to trade that sort of pattern in this market. It, uh, in the past, uh, that sort of approach has worked a little better. You'll have your losers, but you'll have your occasional winner. That'll turn out well, but there's just an enormous amount of mean reversion. And you just can't seem to get any short... Any shorts going at the open, there's a protection mechanism on the bullish side at the open in the market. Um, and then tick pulse in Q, trading momentum to the long side. Another one we're working just to, um, just momentum just doesn't work. If it, if it seems like the market's about to break out one way or the other, it's probably going to reverse in this type of market. 60 minute breakout in Q, it's gone. This has struggled as well. All these limit, you see all these limit moves in here and how, how interesting this looks, these straight lines. 
And so another momentum strategy, it actually was profitable today, but it's been on a losing streak. And then all strategy access one, uh, Cobra three lost, trend strategy with the tight stop wouldn't have mattered because this, it uh, generated a, a uh, upside trend and then the market reversed. SR counter trend two, so here we go, SR counter trend working, plus 775, you know, three out of the last four trades are winners in this strategy. Opposite of some of the other strategies, you, you know, you sell it when it's high, you buy it when it's low, basically, and that continues to work in this setup. Gaffield Masters, small profit target there, plus 175. And then adaptive moving average, it's been on a roll since, you know, when it struggled through March the 16th, and then then it 17th it was profitable, 18th it was profitable. And yesterday it was slightly profitable. Today it's up 3K. So adaptive moving average is fighting back. It's a very aggressive. It's it's going to work to find that trend no matter what. And then this is the uh, this is another strategy we're working that uses the NYC tick and momentum. And just the ranges are just too big for some of these uh, setups. And so you see lost yesterday, lost today, and the short only version as well. So these are strategies that we're reworking. And we recommend not to trade those types of strategies right now. Trade a scaled back version, either the um, 20, 25K portfolio, or if you're trading the stock, all stra uh, if you're trading the all strategy access, trade the 20, you can trade the 25K portfolio or the SR counter trend 234 portfolio. And if you have the stock index portfolio, I recommend trading the SR counter trends. And then adding the Cobra threes as well. They are trend strategies, but you don't, they're not, they're not uh, a large portion, and they can catch the big winners. So. Things like Cobra 3 in Q, an adaptive moving average would be the trend strategies that could be traded. This one's aggressive, and we have a more conservative version of that as well that we've shown you if you're in that. And you can also, uh, I would just trade this, I would just trade the counter trend strategies, and I would trade the um, um, trend, the Cobra 3s, and maybe the adaptive moving average if you have a stomach for uh, these kind of this kind of trading in this kind of volatility. So that's the update for today going into the weekend with about two hours left in trading. And so um, I'll be adjusting the, the strategies I talked about and have those out to you ASAP because really want to uh, take advantage of this market. And there's lots of opportunity in these wide ranges, but you have to trade it uh, a little differently. You have to be careful which strategies you trade when volatility is this high because Normal stop losses can just be caught up in the random fluctuation. You can just get stopped out either way. And so you have to be very selective and choose the right strategies and, and, and pick what's working now and what has worked in the past in the ESSER counter trends, 25K, 50K portfolio, top setups to trade.